So in the early days of Mythbusters, yeah, we, there's a lot of fighting on camera. Um, that was actually due specifically to one of our early producers who liked to, as the British call it, piss in our ears, which is to wind somebody up about somebody else. And we, we got really mad at each other, like really significantly, vitriolically angry. Um, and then at a certain point, we just started comparing notes and we realized that we weren't mad at each other. <laughs> um, now, the fact remains is that we, we, we drive each other nuts every day. We drive, I really, I can't stress that enough. We, we, we drive each other crazy and we get, we, get, we get frustrated with each other on a daily basis. That frustration is based on the fact that no matter what you come up with, him or me, under what circumstances, the other guy is always going to test it and say, why would you do that if this is the case? Maybe you could do it better. Maybe this could be. So someone is always, always, you're always hitting up on a wall that's suggesting that maybe there's a different way to do it. This is exhausting. Conversationally, it's, ex it's exhausting. But it also has a tremendous strength to it. And that strength is the fact that while we drive each other crazy, we are informed by a deep respect for each other. So you don't have to like the people that you work with. It is important to, to trust them and, and to respect their output. If, you, if you're not working for people whose output you respect, you should work for somebody else. You know, Jamie and I, while we drive each other crazy, we know that left to our own devices, the other guy would finish the job on his own by the end of the day. So that means that their advice has to be pretty good, so let's, let's pick, pick it apart. And the fact is, when you, when you go back and forth on a solution enough, all of a sudden the right idea shows up and it's like a light went off in the room. And when that light goes off, both of us just back away and like, that's the idea, that's the one we'll do. And honestly, half the time, neither of us could tell you who came up with the right idea. Because our egos, while we have healthy egos, our egos don't get involved in the right solution, in, in making it our solution. They get involved in it being the right solution. The elegant solution is the one that needs to get done, not the one that you want or the credit that you want. Um, you know, it's been a very, very interesting collaboration with that guy. Because, again, it's like we've never had dinner alone together, ever. <laughs> Left to our own devices, we'll be like, all right, see you tomorrow. And we'll go off and, you know, go separately. But the fact remains is I wouldn't want anyone else in my corner helping me build stuff because uh, uh, I can see that it makes the product stronger. And all great, all partnerships that I know about, people like Penn & Teller, 